In this session, we're going to look at how to use Adobe Audition. Audition is an audio editing program where you can clean up sound, create music, record podcasts, and different things like that. So first, let's do an overview of the workspace. So first thing you want to do once it is open is bring in some files. To do that, you can drag and drop them. You can go to File, Import, hit Control i or what I typically do is just double click in the files panel and then you can go navigate to the files you're going to use and bring them all in. Once they're into the program you'll see the the list of them here. Uh, you got a couple of options under the files panel. Uh, this first one is autoplay. So in order to open up one of these files you can double click on it and that will open it here so you can actually see the waveform. Um, you can also hit the play button to preview it. If you want to autoplay them as you preview, you can just simply click this button and each time you click on one of these, it will autoplay so you can um, tell which sound you're working with. This, this, is, this button here is the loop button, so if you have a, a quick sound, you can actually click that and it will continue to loop it and play it through. Whatever sound you have selected and is visible here, you'll have the properties for that. It'll give you things like the total duration, the total time, and you know, the format and different pieces of information about that sound. You've also got the history panel down on the bottom that will show you all the steps you applied and that way you can go back in time and revert to a previous um, edit or go back a few steps. So as mentioned here in the middle is your waveform. Just being able to see this thing visually is really helpful because you get information about it. You can see where it's louder, where it's quieter, and different things like that. To make the sound quieter or louder pretty quickly, you can take this decibel level here in the middle, and you can, you can click on it and, and put a number in, or you can scrub, which is basically clicking and dragging to the right or to the left, and you can see that changes the size of the wave. If you'd like to zoom in or zoom it out on uh, your sound to get to a specific part, for example, maybe we're working with this, this is a sound record and you want to work with something right here you can simply roll on your mouse on the spot you want to zoom in on and it will zoom in and you can actually navigate through the file in that zoomed in state by dragging this on the top down here on the bottom you'll see some different play controls you've got a record you've got a play um, you can loop a sound for example if we wanted to isolate this piece and listen for a specific part, we can hit the loop um, control here and we can hit uh, the play button and you'll hear that continue to play through. Um, if you don't want to use these controls, you can use the space bar that will stop and start recording. <laughs> this, The J, K, and L keys will also help you navigate. L will go forward, J will go backward, and K will stop. If you hit L or J twice, it'll go double speed, three times quadruple speed. This is a sound recording. This is a sound recording. And then go backwards with J. And then the last thing to point out here is that you can um, record right into the, into the file itself, and it will start recording depending on where your current time indicator, where this marker is at. You just want to be careful with that because if you have sound you need here and you hit record, it's going to record over that sound like this. This is recording over the sound. And you can see that record over the sound. So I'm going to go ahead and control Z and undo that. If your workspace gets rearranged in a way that you don't like and you're not sure how to get things back or you can't find a specific panel because these are put together in different panels you can work with, you can go to window and you can check the panel that you want to open or you can go ahead and go to workspace, choose a different workspace, or you can reset the workspace you're working with and it will go back to um, its original state. And that is Audition's workspace.